Uh, we will move on to uh, Frederick, who um, has been doing some cool work with uh, the, the team over at Agalia has been doing some cool work with WebKit and uh, really, really excited and happy, Frederick, to have you uh, be a part of this. So I'll let you go ahead and present. Yeah, so, um, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. We can see your slides too. Good. Awesome. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah, I am Frederick Wong. I'm working at Gaia, and I'm gonna give a quick overview of the WebKit, the state of WebKit. <coughs> so just to get the big picture, uh, we are one of the many implementers of the web platform. Uh, we are involved in standardization committees. We contribute to conformance testing, and of course, we also participate to the development of open source web engines. Uh, so now if we focus on WebKit, as you know, um, Apple is uh, project lead. Uh, they maintain the iOS and macOS parts. And also they have, they're working on Safari and all the related uh, proprietary components. Uh, Reading in Gaia, we are mainly contributing to the Linux part of WebKit. Uh, which is used, for example, for embedded systems or also for desktop browsers on Linux. Um, but we also contribute to the web platform, so the platform independent part of WebKit. Uh, <coughs> and also more recently, we, we have started a collaboration with uh, Google AMP. So we, <coughs> we've been able to contribute a bit more to Safari, more specifically to the iOS part. And what is really interesting to note is that uh, actually WebKit is the uh, only web engine available on iOS, which means that if you want to contribute to iOS browsers, you really have to contribute to WebKit. Um, <coughs> so now if we focus on the features, uh, as you probably know, Apple doesn't really comment on future releases. But we, during the WebKit controller meeting last October, they have given a quick overview of what are the plans and what we have done during this year and next year. So <clears throat> one of the features is, of course, uh, web standards. Uh, as you know, they have, they have shipped uh, service workers, and they plan to, to continue to improve performance uh, for next year. Uh, I think early this year, they shipped uh, Apple Page support for payment request API. Uh, also, they shipped the uh, Web Share API, for example. Uh, web animation is also really close to be complete. Uh, for now, it is in the preference flag. Uh, also, a contributor, uh, in, you know, like I mentioned, Google, for example, was been working on intersection observer. At Igalia, we are also considering implementing the similar resize observer API. And we also have a student who is working on CSS logical property. And of course, there are more and more features. Um, <coughs> there are also plans to do big refactoring, so for layout scrolling and JC, so the JavaScript engine. Uh, the idea is to make the code cleaner. And the goal, one of the goals is, of course, to improve performance. Um, regarding to multimedia, we helped Apple to to continue the WebRTC support, and also other things like media source extension. Uh, for graphics, I think Kenneth mentioned that uh, Intel was working on WebGPU and WebGL2, and uh, I think Apple mentioned there they plan to do the same. And one of the big uh, features is also security and privacy. So, for example, at Egalia, we contributed the uh, iframe sandboxing, but Apple also has other ideas like uh, process per origin, fingerprinting mitigations, and so on. Um, performance is, of course, also a very instrumental part of uh, the browser. So, they have planned to not getting slow and possibly to, when, if possible, to get even faster on existing benchmarks. Uh, one interesting thing for developers is tooling. So, 
as I mentioned, that they plan to improve the web inspector. Uh, I think they mentioned, for example, improving the stack editor. And finally, there are everything related to all the things related to um, APIs. Uh, for example, WebKit APIs, which are used by embedders. Mm -hmm. For example, the users of the WebKit view, uh, which is just, I guess, for Chromium and Firefox uh, on iOS. Um, one another interesting thing that we helped at Egaia was to do the web driver support. So now you can automate uh, uh, testing of the browser, of the wiki browser. Uh, so now regarding the features that we are working on at Egaia, um, I mentioned in the previous slide that uh, there are some effort on scrolling and. One the thing of, that we're considering is to make uh, Mac some scrolling on Mac uh, asynchronous, so that uh, it improves performance. Um, we also would like to make um, all the overflow nodes uh, scrollable on iOS without the need of using this uh, dash WebKit dash overflow scrolling uh, CSS property. And similarly, as you probably know, iframes on iOS are by default, they are expanded to to take the whole size the whole size of the content, so they, uh, they don't scroll. Well, you can actually make them scrollable, but you have to add a lot of hacks, and it has some bugs. So uh, the plan is we want to, to we are currently working to make uh, iframe scrollable by default. Uh, other features that I can mention is. Uh, Smooth scrolling, smooth programmatic scrolling. We already have some patches that are submitting for review. Um, overflow behavior, it's one of the features that was introduced by Microsoft. So um, we currently uh, started to experiment, on, so to experiment it some patches, but I think uh, they're working on Mac, but on iOS, we'll have to work a bit on this. Well, uh, actually, uh, I think Apple will have to to add new API, new system API in order to make this possible. Uh, regarding JavaScript, um, well, we have uh, done a pretty good job on BigInt. Uh, I think most of the operators are now implemented. And we, we are continuing to polish things and to implement the missing operators. And class fields, uh, we Basically, we are we submitted some patches for review, and we are waiting feedback from from Apple. And there are many more features. Uh, we are working on bug fixes and interoperability interoperability fixes. So, as you can see on this slide, I'm not going to mention everything, but I can, for example, highlight uh, that we are currently working on the loading code, and in particular, during that process, we have been improving the interoperability of uh, XHR and fetch APIs. And then I have a couple of references uh, that you can look into if you want details, uh, including some videos. And that's basically it. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting to see um, uh, WebKit and uh, that represented, and obviously all the amazing things that uh, Egalia is actually doing um, on the web. So thank you so much for doing that.